Big bucks are on the way to help spruce up several boardwalks at the Jersey Shore. State grants will help improve the prize centerpieces of many coastal communities. NBC10 Jersey Shore Bureau reporter Ted Greenberg hit the boards in the two cities set to receive the most money. Georgine Mitchell loves spending time on Atlantic City's boardwalk, but she's very careful about where she steps. I shift from side to side to find a flat ground. The uh, boardwalk is very unlevel, and most of it, actually the majority of the boardwalk needs to be repaired. This section is under construction right now. A wave of money from the state will help pay for future repairs and improvements to the famous wooden way. This is great news because I frequently come here. 18 Jersey Shore communities are getting part of $100 million in Boardwalk Preservation Fund grants. Atlantic City and Asbury Park set to get the highest amounts, $20 million each. I'm glad to hear about that. Um, certainly can use some improvements. In Asbury Park, seven million of those dollars will go towards upgrading boardwalk planking, railings, disability accessible ramps, and restrooms. We go other beaches, other places, but Asbury Park is special, so I'm really happy to hear that it'll be revitalized. Local leaders say the remaining $13 million will help bring the landmark convention hall complex back to life. This is probably one of the most iconic structures, quite frankly, on the East Coast. With the exception of this walkway, structural issues have kept the building closed for a number of years. Once those problems are addressed, officials say reopening the Paramount Theater is critical. Paramount closing about two years ago has been a real detriment to the city because we've lost all the shows. Officials in Atlantic City don't have specifics on how its 20 million bucks will be spent. AC's current focus is sprucing up the boardwalk's tourism heavy midsection. This boardwalk needs major repair, major fixes that could help Georgine Mitchell focus a bit less on where she walks. Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.